Yeah. All right, hello, I just keep it steady on the magic. The Do my thing, I'm getting it's fantastic. Uh, yeah, if I fall, I was automatic. You ain't no one now, you know. Only one rain myself like a tree from the roots. West side go, cause she lived in the coast. East side go when she speaks to the roots. Stay 100, cause she on with the truth. Been there on struggle, know that it passed. Only going up, yeah, the pain don't last. Ooh, take off. Ooh, take off. Ooh, take off. This is take off, take off, take off. Shorty like Brandy, fight like Monica. What you know about her? Baby girl raising, wet at the top. Shaking the world, don't expect her to stop. Puppy so great, she get what she got. Follow her step, cause she following God. What you need more, got a heart full of gold. Even at times when it's raining and cold. Ooh, hey, 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 she about to take off. Hey, 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 and today is Manifest Mondays. Welcome back to the Upgraded Podcast. I forgot my AirPods, so I hope you guys can all hear me. Um, it's going to be an interesting one. I have a lot of feelings, so y'all are going to process with me. It's been a long weekend. Oh, peep the shirt. If you guys are not already following, it's Tagaru Rebuild, Rebuild Tigray. Um, I believe is the Instagram handle. So y'all make sure you are following them. Um, get their merch. I know the team. They're really, really dope. So I just want y'all to know. Um, yeah, it's been it's been a long weekend, y'all. A long weekend, okay? Um, your girl is tired. I'm trying. I'm exhausted. I'm feeling a little bit run down. But I'm here. I'm here with all of y'all. <laughs> oh, man. If you were in Denver this week, please go take a nap. Sleep sleep today if you can if you're traveling safe travels um have a good flight uh i'm excited to get some peace back in my life because y'all as fun as it is y'all be draining draining i'm exhausted um you say hey beautiful oh thank y'all you know because i i just i'm not gonna lie to y'all i just rolled out of bed so i appreciate all the love and encouragement and surprise hey y'all for real check the nails y'all know what time it is um so getting back onto schedule manifest mondays y'all i do this segment uh every week really just for the love of um like that that practice for myself of manifesting and speaking things into my life and visualizing and meditating bro i'm telling y'all right now if i think it'll heal me i do it i really do um I be just Googling shit, trying all different types of things. So, oh, I forgot my AirPods. So I hope y'all can hear me okay. If if y'all can't hear me okay, please let me know. Um, it's it's been it's been a rough weekend, and my voice is starting to hurt from all the yelling. (laughs) So y'all stick with your girl, okay? So, anyways, um, this is my segment to bring light and positivity back into the world. And this has been a very difficult time in order for me to even do that. And so by doing this, um, can I join your live, please? Not right now, Mare. Thank you. This is going to be um, um, not a week that I want anyone on my life. So I am going back on this journey to softness. It's been a really rough nine months. It's been exhausting. Um, people have tried my patience. Um it, it's it's been a lot and I, I think that I realize part of the reason that I'm struggling or feeling blocked in that is that I hold a lot of resentment and anger um, towards <laughs> a lot of people right now um, we are at a war so you can imagine why that is but then I also feel like I'm at a war at home, too, um, here in the States, um, within the communities that I exist in. And people always ask me, why do I go so hard for black women? Because we get the fucking short end of the stick every fucking time. I'm sorry for cussing. It's supposed to be a positive day. But listen, I got to be honest and I got to be transparent. I'm exhausted of being a black woman. Um, I'm exhausted of feeling like I have to have the armor on to begin with and in order for me to take off my armor we gotta have a conversation we gotta have a conversation y'all it is ridiculous um 
the amount of things that we have to put up with and that we're always having to be the bigger person. I myself am always trying to be the bigger person and y'all, I don't got no more patience left. So um, I want to I wanna make a little PSA. And let me just start with this. When I talk about like me wanting to be able to be soft, I, I mean, I want to feel completely safe and completely comfortable in my own skin, in my own body without feeling like somebody is trying to touch up on me, rub up on me, push up on me. Um, I feel like somebody's always trying to attack me. All of that forces me to put armor on and it makes me feel like I have to be a hardcore person. And I don't want to be a hardcore person. Some of y'all have met me this weekend at the festival. I'm not that big. <laughs> Y'all, I'm all of 5'2". I, I know the screen confuses you, but I'm not a big person. And when when I get into those environments, it gives me a lot of anxiety. Um, it, it's very uncomfortable for like people to feel like they don't have to introduce themselves when they approach you. You do need to introduce yourself. Please do. I still introduce myself. Um, and also, don't just go in for a hug. That's very invasive, y'all. It's very, very invasive. So you need to like ask, make sure, make sure I'm straight before you do that. And I want to address this. Um, if you can't hold your liquor, you shouldn't be drinking. I'm telling you this right now. The amount of shit the women had to go through this weekend at various different points, I was livid. Okay, here I am trying to go onto a journey of softness and healing and you got these grown ass men who think it's okay to grab you it's not okay it's never fucking okay if you were a woman this weekend who had a, a man try to grab your arm please let me know because i'm tired of this shit y'all are getting exposed i'm tired of this shit this all oh, he's drunk he doesn't know better da, da, da. no if you know your friend is a problem drinker you know your friend is a violent person when they drink you need to check them and if you don't i will <laughs> and i know this sounds crazy because i have this nice peaceful music on but i'm just telling y'all um it's not okay i literally had a grown ass man push up on me on the dance floor and because I didn't want to give him attention, he thought it was okay to like harass me, to cuss me out, to push up on me and make me feel uncomfortable. And I had to shove this guy off me multiple times. All of the people around didn't do shit. They didn't do shit. They watched and brushed it off like, oh, he's drunk. I don't care who you are. You're lucky we're at an event and I couldn't put hands on you, bro. And also that I'm trying to be this yogi person and I'm not trying to be violent. So I'm telling you right now, it's not okay. Um, and I have to start off with this PSA. There's no way women can be soft in this world when men think it's okay to push up on us. It's not okay. I cannot do this. I cannot. I'm doing everything I can to, to be soft and, and peaceful and genuine and to be a healer and to create space for other people. And I, I can't do that when I have grown men think it's okay to push up on me and other people just watch and don't do anything. That's not cool. And that's not going to work in our community. We have a group. Okay, sorry, I'm getting mad. <laughs> let me let me breathe, y'all. Um, you cannot hold a poster talking about weaponized rape happening back home in Tigray and then think it's okay to be aggressive towards women here. We're triggered too. We are very triggered too. We are very traumatized too. And just in case you didn't realize this, women get abused all the time, whether it's war or not. So if you think that you can roll up on me and put your hands on me, I promise you to God, I'm, this is my last warning to any nigga who thinks they can try it. I don't care if it's your homie. I don't care if it's your friend. I don't care if it's your fucking grandpa. I promise you to God, the next person that tries it with me, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. And I know this is Manifest Mondays, but y'all need this PSA. Um, damn. And my cousin said that's the number one reason why I stopped going to hobby shop parties. That's literally it, y'all. That's literally it. Um, and it, I thought it was so timely because I literally told the universe, I want to try to take the armor off. I want to try to be soft again. This war is turning me into a hard person. And I don't want to be a hard person. Y'all see me every week. 
You know what I'm saying? Y'all see me every week trying to be positive and trying to be light. I, I welcome everyone who wants to come and say hi to me. I love when you guys tell me that this podcast helps you, that, I, that something I said touched you. I love that. And, and you know what? Let me say shout out to all the women this weekend um, who handled me with care. I appreciate y'all so much. I appreciate y'all so, so much. And, you know, my my Huawei that was with me, um, a couple of my Bay Area people who intervened, thank you because I honestly, like fuck a reputation it would have been bad <laughs> my cousin said they gonna catch these hands and feet yep yeah yeah they gonna catch these knees they gonna catch these elbows um listen this how you guys know i'm still from oakland <laughs> babu listen to this i seen homie and i had to double check if this was him and i just instinctively just started doing this taking off my earrings and my homie looks at me he goes why you taking your ears off oh i said just in case i got a molly wop somebody <laughs> And just so casually, just so casually. And he was just like, sis, no. I was like, if you think I'm going to let people disrespect me at a time where I have literally given them grace for nine months, no. Mm -mm. No. If you think I'm going to let men um, disrespect me in any way, shape, or form while you're advocating for your women back home, no. You don't get to be a hypocrite. Sorry, not sorry. Like, it's not happening. Um, I'm not playing that shit. We're calling this out every freaking time. I've seen it way too much this weekend. Way, way, way too much. I'm over it. I'm really over it. And I'm going to say PSA to all the men. Step up and check your friend. Because if you don't check them, they're going to jail. <laughs> I'm telling you right now. I'm not playing with you. If I, If you're bigger than me and I can't do anything about it, guess what? I'm definitely calling the cops and I'm definitely putting in a request. I'm, I'm arresting you, my nigga. I don't care. I'm not playing with people no more. Um, and in case y'all don't understand where all of this extra aggression is coming from me, not that I owe anyone an explanation. I think it should be enough said that people shouldn't touch you when you don't want to be touched. I think that should be common sense. And this whole, well, we're all Tagadu. Shut the fuck up. Stop doing that with me. I don't care who you are. You don't have permission. You are not entitled to my time and space. You are not. I, this is what you're entitled to. This space right here that I've created that is public and open, this is the space that people are entitled to. You are not entitled to, and this is to the men who think it's okay, you are not entitled to walking up to me and invading my space, and when I tell you to back off, you do, you're not entitled to get mad and think that you can harass me and call me out of my name. You're so lucky by the grace of God that like I decided to be the better angel and not walk you towards where my dad's freaking table was. That's why you're lucky. Because me, having done my healing work, I knew what would happen, but I don't want to have to do that anymore. I'm not playing with people. So this was the PSA that y'all need to hear. Please share this with your friends. <laughs> Please share this with your friends and let them know I'm not the one. Um, and I'm just gonna go ahead and air this out. I want it out of my system because I don't want to hold on to it. The other thing I realized is if I want to be a softer person, if I want to be um, doing this vulnerable work with you guys and I want to be that, I have to like let these things out. I'm not gonna hold them in and I'm not gonna protect people who are lame like this. It's oh my God, it's ridiculous. So I'm just telling y'all right now, I forget the guy's name. You, you already know I, I played um, <laughs> Inspector Gadget on this shit. He's from Columbus, Ohio. He owns a restaurant out there. When I get the more details, I think I found a picture of him somewhere. When I get more details about this man, just know I'm putting this out as a warning to any woman who has had to deal with him in, in that city. Please let me know because this is going to get handled. We're no longer letting niggas slide. Sorry. Um, and if you're a guy watching this, please go ahead and let them know. <laughs> Please go ahead and check your go check your homies because it's not for me. Um, our women deserve peace and softness, whether they're back home or here. This whole war and everybody has trauma thing is not an excuse for you to be a trash person. It's really not. I'm tired of it. It's been nine months of grace. You get no more grace from me. I'm also a victim. I'm also traumatized. I'm also hurting. Um, and like I was saying earlier, I've had lost two, two family members, two women in my family from domestic violence. Two, not one, but two. In a, how many years has it been? Like, 
it's not even been two full years so don't play with me i'm really not playing with y'all um so yeah if anybody is from columbus ohio and and knows of a, a man that owns a restaurant a hobshaw restaurant there that was here this weekend in denver please hit my dms um because i'm not playing with this and this whole fake apology oh i was drunk i didn't know better don't drink then because if you can't remember what you do when you're drunk you shouldn't be drinking sorry not sorry you're not an adult you're a child stop drinking your feelings away put the bottle down and go to therapy go to aa do whatever you need to do but you're lucky i'm a nice person the, the next person might not be so nice so um yeah i'm sorry guys i had to get that one off because i'm like what the hell like i'm supposed to be out here going on this whole journey to softness i'm, a, I'm over here trying to manifest peace and positivity and light into the community and you gonna try me people done lost their mind y'all they done lost their mind but you know what y'all already know the world is crazy every day um i'm gonna still choose positivity because if anything comes from this it's gonna be me addressing this in the culture um, my homegirl said this the other day she said we're rebuilding tigray and we're not rebuilding it with any of this trauma so men just know you've been put on notice i'm telling you this right now this goes for women too if you're violent when you drink stop drinking if you know your friend is that crazy drunk, stop enabling them. Stop doing that. That's just not cute. It's really not. And it's unnecessary. And it makes the rest of us not feel safe and not want to be around. If you want more people to be connected and you want more people to, to come around you and you want to actually create a safe space, then you need to be a safe person. And you need to be a bigger person and call those people out. Because I'm telling you, if somebody else has to call them out, it's not going to be so pretty. Because they're not going to do it with love and care. I don't know this man. I don't care. He's not my friend. And a couple people were like, oh, we know him. I don't care if you know him. That's actually a problem. If you know him and you didn't check him, that's a problem. That is a problem. You are a bystander and that shit's weak as hell to me. So I just have to let y'all know. <laughs> y'all not going to play with me today. So all of that, I know it doesn't sound as positive, but it is. It's positive because we're gonna make sure that this is not a culture that's carried on. And it's just ironic that this is the journey I wanted to go on, was how do I become a soft person again? And to have that be the experience this weekend, it was like, all right, you know, the universe was like, all right, well, you gonna need something to talk about. Like, I had enough to talk about, but that's fine, that's fine. It was fresh, y'all need to feel that passion and that love, and you need to understand how it feels because most of the women are not telling you. They're not telling you how uncomfortable and unsafe they feel. And that's not okay. And I don't want to be that way. I literally kept thinking about how do I even define softness? How do I understand what that means? How do I like lean into my feminine energy? And like in order for me to do that, I had to think about like what are the roadblocks to that? You know? And for me, being soft is being affectionate. I want to be affectionate. I want to be caring. Um, you know, I want to be kind and I, I want to be soft spoken and I want to uh, like, I want to let you guys, you know, give me hugs and, and feel safe. But when you have people who take advantage of that and y'all know what I'm talking about, when you have guys who think it's okay to, to cop a feel, it doesn't make you want to be touched or be soft. It makes me want to be on guard. I don't want to be on guard and I shouldn't have to be. So in order for me to get back to softness, I need the universe to work with me. I need y'all to work with me and do your part. Because I, if I'm feeling this way, then so are the other women around you. And it's not okay. And we're not okay. And we need our men to step up. Step up and be better. Like, for real, for real. Be better for yourself. Be better for your mom, for your sister, your future wife. Um, your future children whatever the case is just be a better human being because it's just trash bro and it's embarrassing as hell it really is like i shouldn't i don't want to come on here and talk about this i don't but we're gonna do it until it stops so <sighs> i had to talk about all that because y'all could tell i'm tired i've had to deal with a lot of energy all weekend of people trying me and i'm just like how sway this is supposed to be a fun event and i still had to find a way to be like having a good time and be with my people and want to go out and it, it makes it really hard for me to want to do that 
Um, and it's not what I want to be. I want to be soft, guys. I really do. Anyone who has actually been in my space for real will tell you I'm very affectionate. I'm very soft and very caring. I'm a very chill person. I like to chill, like listen to the music. You guys, I do Manifest Mondays on a weekly basis. Um, I just have to always remind people I'm still from Oakland. <laughs> and um, I don't want to say that anymore. I don't want to have to keep reminding y'all, don't play with me. So, ladies, this is going to be an, a, a crazy journey. And I'm wondering how much of it we can do on, on our own. So this is going to be a test of that. It's really going to be a test of that for ourselves this month to be like, how do we find our center and how do we find our softness when the world requires us to put armor on every day, especially if you're a black woman. I feel for us so much. It's so tiring. It really is. Um, and I, it shouldn't have to be and I don't want it to be. And so I'm going to fight back um, with more joy and with more love. And with more kindness, um, I'm not gonna let people bring me to violence because they wanna be violent. It will be handled in the appropriate way. Um, I am thankful for the guys that did step up to, like I said, wanna handle things for me. Um, and I was just like, you know what? More violence doesn't ever solve the answer, or I mean solve the problem. Um, what's really gonna be the biggest change for us is we got to change this culture of what's acceptable this whole let's turn a blind eye this whole let's protect each other nah bro um, we got to start casting niggas out sorry like that that's the that's the only way that women are gonna feel safe because the fact that i have to consider what this does like people really said to me think about what this does to your reputation why do I need to think about my reputation when somebody else is harassing me? The double standard is crazy. The internalized misogyny is crazy. Y'all will really protect an oppressor for what? Stop doing that. Stop telling us what to do about when we're feeling victimized. No, nobody gets a free pass. That's not cool. If we want safety, then you guys need to give us safety. It's ridiculous. Talking about my reputation. I don't give a shit. You think I care? This is social media. I'll turn this shit off. That's my real life. It's my real life, my real body. It's not okay. It's not okay at all. So anyone who was thinking that for me, please don't. And please stop sharing your opinion. If you like, if you are interested in the image and what that looks like for the other person, you're trash, bro. You're really trash. And somebody needed to tell you today. Somebody really needed to tell you today. So I hope you hear this. I hope you run this back. I hope this you send this to any guy that's ever said this shit to you. Please let them know Hannah told you you're trash, bro. You are really trash if you're trying to protect the abuser and not the victim in the situation. And you're more worried about the scene. The fact that I even had to think about that and I was the one that was being victimized pissed me the hell off. I was like, why the hell am I even worried about what this other person is feeling? What the hell? Why am I so concerned about not causing a whole scene in front of this party? I don't care. The next nigga that tries it, it's going to be a royal r rumble, okay? WWE. Like, and it's not going to be my fault. I'm going to tell you once. You don't want to play with me. I'm not trying to choose violence, but I will defend myself. I promise you to God, I will defend myself. And I'm telling all the women, what the hell do we, if we got to take self-defense classes and we got to do all this stuff because people don't want to step up and be better human beings, then that's what the hell we're going to do. That's what the hell we're going to do. But here's the thing. All of y'all talking about, we got we to gotta marry each other. We got to repopulate. We got to do this and this. I want y'all to start doing some math. Okay. We're going to do some math for everybody. How the hell do you think us women feel safe marrying y'all and reproducing with y'all when you let this type of shit happen to us on a daily basis? Please explain. This shit isn't adding up to me. How the hell am I supposed to feel like this soft, feminine woman, whatever the case is, all these damn weirdo expectations y'all have of us, but when we're constantly being harassed and all of these things, you don't step up. 
and you you don't check the abuser half y'all niggas stand around and watch but yet we're supposed to we're supposed to want to stay in the community we're supposed to want to feel safe with y'all we're supposed to want to marry you and reproduce with you Ooh, child somebody failed math class y'all failed critical thinking you don't put two and two together our women are being abused elsewhere we are triggered we are traumatized you got to help us feel safe. If you're not helping us feel safe, you are part of the problem. And I promise you, nobody wants you. You're mad because I'm not giving you attention. You know why I'm not giving you attention? Because you're being a creep. Point blank. Sorry nobody told you. I'm telling you today. Again, this man is from Columbus, Ohio, and he owns a restaurant out there, a Tagato restaurant, I think. I'm telling y'all right now, as soon as I have the information, I'm putting it on blast. You're not getting away with shit like that. It's not cool. I don't know how many other women you have tried this on. And um, I feel sad because I, I pray to God that they had people there with them because it's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. I'm not playing that game with y'all. So for the women um, and for anyone actually, right, who has had to like deal with this type of environment or this type of like oh people want to push up on you and harass you and you have to always be the bigger person I feel for you I'm gonna tell you something that my my therapist told me a long time ago that has carried me through everything forgiveness is not for the other person forgiveness is for you it's for you to not hold on to the anger and not hold on to the resentment and, and live in your bitterness because somebody else decided they wanted to ruin your day and wanted to make your life a problem. So I'm going to go ahead and like preemptively forgive this person for myself. It's going to take me a little bit of time to fully feel that, but I'm just going to go ahead and say that now and claim that right now for for all the people who have, have dealt with it and who have tried it um it, it really is for you the forgiveness is really for you so that you don't have to deal with living your life having to look over your shoulder all the time um the other thing he said and he gave me this quote and he said that holding on to anger and not forgiving is like drinking poison and hoping the other person dies and I hope you guys caught that you're drinking the poison you're the one having all the anger and you're hoping the other person dies that other person is not worried about you I'll tell you right now that other person is not worried about you they don't care they have moved on they did not lose any sleep so I promise you to God I've tried it I've tried it for years probably a decade or so probably two decades you know I'm older and the forgiveness is really for you. The forgiveness is really, really, really for you because that other person isn't concerned. Um, and when you get enough strength to be like me and to call it out when you see it and and be willing to go through the proper channels to take care of that, um, I will stand with you and I will hold your hand through it because it's ridiculous. Uh, and I'm not... I'm not doing this with people no more. Sorry, I see, I'm seeing your guys' comments. Okay. Oh, you said, she said, Rahel said, sis is speaking facts that people don't want to hear. Well, yeah, they gonna hear it today. Don't come on my platform unless you want the truth. And the truth is, y'all got me messed up. <laughs> That's really the truth. So again, I do this once a week. I do this every day, but I do this once a week publicly for y'all because I want us to live better. Um, I want us to have safer environments. I want us to actually have a prosperous uh, people. And, and that requires women to be at the forefront, to feel safe and protected at all times. Actually, fuck that. You know what safety is? Not needing to be protected. I should be able to walk around and not feel like I need to have somebody protect me. If you want me to be able to be soft, that's what I need. I need to be able to walk in the room and understand that like nobody's gonna try me. And I used to feel that way when I was around Tagadu. Y'all tested that this weekend. I'll tell you right now, really tested that this weekend. Not all of y'all, but the few troublemakers, and we all know what it is. 
the niggas who can't hold their liquor and think it's okay I'm, I'm specifically talking about them and if we want to have a community where people feel safe and want to come around and want to be connected then we need to start calling this shit out and we need to stop making it acceptable and you need to let go of some of your fucking family members sorry i'm not sorry this whole we got to protect our image bullshit miss me with that i don't care about your image i really could care less my life is more important than your image my life is more important than your family's reputation my life is more important than when the public is going to think about us when i say black women matter that's the fuck i mean when you all want to scream black lives matter that's what the fuck that means so do the work like it's ridiculous okay y'all quote with me safety is is not needing to feel protected to be protected I'm just saying, I'm not here for this shit, bro. I'm really not. Um, so with that, because, you know, I, I use anything negative and I turn it into a positive. That's my superpower. It's how I've gotten through life. I always look for silver linings. Um, and I try to teach other people to do that as well. Because honestly, this is not going to change overnight. And it's going to be a process. But it's going to be a process that is worth it. Because it's going to be... Um, something that our girls need our daughters our future daughters um, need they need a world that they feel safe in and if i have to go through this uncomfortableness to get them that then i'm gonna do it and i hope that other people will do it with me but if you're if you're not ready to i get it sis i'll carry this i'll carry this not a problem i will carry this that is that is something that i'm completely ready to do i'm completely ready to make sure that i use my life to protect other women no problem at all for me <laughs> my cousin said gather them like a ponytail sis they mean i don't know what's wrong with them they losing it up there sis they losing it oh hello it's trash day y'all ain't that the irony it's trash day and i'm taking out some trash listen so what I want to manifest for us. Um, sorry, I'm getting run down and freaking congested. I need to sleep. I need to go back to sleep. Um, what I want to manifest for us, and let me just give my my heart a little bit of time to calm down because she mad, all right? Um, what I really want to manifest for us is is the last thing that I said. I want I want women to feel safe and not need protection, and not need a man to step in. That's what I need, okay? That's what I'm manifesting for us. I'm manifesting that we live in a world that we don't need to protect ourselves from all the time. I'm manifesting um, a Tigray where the women can fully be themselves at all times, and to actually be soft in the way that they wanna be. Um, and not have to be so sharp with the tongue and not be so ready to, to throw hands, you know? I'm manifesting that. I'm manifesting um, a space where women can just be themselves. I'm, I'm manifesting a space where you, you don't have to think about your route home or you don't have to think about what you're wearing um, or all the other bullshit excuses that men create for why they act the way they act. Um, and again, I know that women and men get abused as well, but let's be honest about who has the advantage and who's who's physically superior in this case, right? So I'm manifesting that for us. I'm manifesting that we get the light and the love that we deserve um, and that we walk freely in our skin and that we just get to be the beautiful human beings we're supposed to be. Women are nurturers. Women are the builders of everything. We are the backbone. We create life. We cannot create life from this place. You want another traumatized generation? Keep messing with us. Keep messing with us. It's not It's not cute, y'all. It's really not. So I'm manifesting that peace for all of us. Um, this is a little bit of a different Manifest Mondays, but um, still same concept. So... The other thing I normally do is ask y'all in the comments um, if there's something that you want me to manifest for y'all. And my girl hit me before the show and was like, can you manifest hope for me? 
sis, I'll manifest a whole ocean of hope for you, for all of us. It's ridiculous. But more specifically for you, I want to manifest that you don't need hope anymore. And I know that sounds crazy, but I want to manifest that for you. I want to manifest that a life of ease for you, a, a life where you just do and create the beautiful things that you want and that you're not constantly having to, to fight obstacles by yourself. Um, I'm manifesting that if you do need hope, it's, it's because it's something really big that you might be scared of, you know? But I don't want to manifest hope for people that, you know, like you're just, you're just waiting on a prayer or something. Nah, man, I'm manifesting that your life is so beautiful and great that hope is just extra. And that the things that, you, that you're hopeful for are, are just bigger dreams. That's what I want to manifest for you, sis. Because really and truly, this world is smoke and mirrors. Um... Everything is man-made, I mean, besides what was given to us, obviously, but most of the things that we deal with are man-made. Most of our limitations are our own beliefs, um, and as soon as you get get over that, hope is just extra, because the only hope and the only understanding you need to know is that you have everything within you already, sis. That's, what, that's all you gotta know, baby girl. Like, what is hope? You're the original everything that you have in you is enough it's more than enough if god wanted you to have it he would have given it to you already so you got to remember i'm a spiritual person too so if god isn't it for you if it's the universe or whatever call it what it is um you were born with everything that you needed every single thing and if, if i'm gonna manifest hope for anything i'm gonna manifest that um that you remember that and that i'm hopeful that you don't forget and I hope that made sense um yeah it's been a it's been a it's been a rough week y'all <laughs> a long one and I'm digging deep I'm digging deep really deep because yeah I gotta do it I love it I'm, I'm coming back to your guys's comments Okay, she says, sis, you already have me in better spirits even talking about this. That's what I'm talking about. Trash goes out every Monday. Sure does. Sure does. Trash goes out every Monday, and I make space for more peace and abundance, light and love. If you don't have that shit for me, please go left. Go left. Go right. Just don't come here. Be very clear about that. If you don't have love, peace, light, affection for me, don't come this way. Okay, because that's all I want and that's all I deserve. I don't deserve nothing else but that. <laughs> Be very clear about that. And nobody else deserves that. You got trauma, you got issues, you got pain. Go take that out somewhere else. Don't bring that shit here. Don't bring that shit here. Okay? So, all right, guys. I just, I just had to let that one off. Again, this, this month is all about me trying to find my level, um, not even level, just find my way back to softness, find a way to take the armor off. And I realize the things that are keeping the armor on is shit like this. It's the fact that I have to go out into this world and deal with bullshit. And the only way I know how to do it is to call it out. And so I'm gonna keep calling it out until there's nothing to call out. It's just the name of the game. And when I'm saying I'm manifesting, I'm manifesting all of this for for the next. Not, I don't even want to wait till the next generation, bro. I'm not giving y'all that much time to get your life together. Y'all got five years tops, tops, bro. That's it. And I'm, this, let me tell y'all what's gonna happen. All the Tagata women you so concerned about. If you think we're the generation that's gonna put up with you, ooh, child, you are so confused. You are so confused. When I tell you your children. The children will still be half from Tigray. All the trash has come back around. So, I'm trying to just let this trash man <laughs> go by. But the, what I'm trying to tell y'all is if you think we're the generation of women who's gonna put up and tolerate disrespect 
and, and stay within the community and oh we're just gonna make excuses da, 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 da. you got another thing coming for you i gave y'all a deadline of if you think you having a chance with me you got till the end of august to shoot your shot and then i'm opening the door for other people who know how to do it right if you want to come in my life i'm telling i'm, I'm gonna just speak this right now i'm manifesting this i already wrote it down i already manifested it. i've been speaking this but i'm gonna do this again publicly so it's recorded i'm telling you right now to God or man, if you think you have a chance with me, you got till the end of August. Um, when I come back from Seattle, don't think I'm answering none of your DMs. It's not happening. Um, also, if you're gonna come, <laughs> if you're gonna come at me, and not even come at me, if you wanna, if you wanna approach me on some lovey-dovey shit, you better be an evolved human being. Uh, you better be a feminist. Sorry, I'm not sorry. Um, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm really, I've already manifested this. And if this feels a little assertive to you, oh, well, you're not the guy for me. Move on. I need a man who got big hands because I am I carry a lot of weight. I do a lot of work. I'm very emotionally intelligent. I'm self-aware and I'm vulnerable as shit. If that scares you, don't come this way. Do not come this way. You are not prepared for me. Go deal with somebody else. I'm also not here for free therapy. Go somewhere else. Go get a real therapist that's not what I'm here for if you are if you want the women because let me tell you there is no shortage of amazing beautiful gorgeous Tagata women there's not a shortage I have no problem no problem thinking of women that I can set guys up with not a problem at all if anything this is the opposite direction I'm like when I'm trying to find a man to set up these women with I'm like where the hell y'all at I'm looking high and dry high and low okay I'm like where are y'all at step the hell up i'm not playing with y'all you will be sad as hell when you see me popped up next year and i'm not married to a tagaru that'll be your own damn fault not mine and i'm tired of niggas oh you're so duh, duh, duh. no you're just weak and i'm sorry nobody told you that step up it's been nine months get your shit together bro please get your shit together <laughs> And if people are like, oh, Manifest Monday is usually light and positive. No, this is positive. It's positive that the women want change. Um, there's a light at the end of the tunnel for us. Women, go where the love is. Go where you're treated right. Go where you're treated like a queen. Okay? Go where the men are evolved and they know how to speak about their emotions and they know how to communicate. Okay? Go where there's consistency. Go where there's intentionality. Go where there's men who are like, I want to plan a date and I want to take you out properly. Go where it is that men step up without you having to ask. Y'all playing with us. You really are. And you're going to be sad as hell when all these dope ass women that I have been mentoring go and find love somewhere else. We're not waiting for you guys. Go have your little men's conference or whatever the hell you need to do to get yourself together. But we're not playing this shit. We're really not. And you know I love y'all because I do a whole segment for you. If you watched my episode yesterday with Mouz, y'all know. I write for guys who are evolved and do the work. But if you're not that guy, I don't write for you. I, <laughs> I have boundaries. Some of y'all need to go learn that word and, and put some up for yourself. The ones who are like, oh, your expectations are too high. No, they're not. I expect for you to be a decent human being. If that's too high, sir, you have no business talking to me. <sighs> All right, y'all. This is my journey back to softness. And the way that I can do it is to be honest and transparent. So I hope y'all um, enjoyed that. <laughs> oh, I make myself laugh. Um, I hope that you guys understand the love and light that I have for you. This is passion. Uh, if, you, if you misinterpreted that, that's your problem. <laughs> Not mine. But I love you guys. I love everyone. I want everyone to have the life that they want. I want you to stop settling for shit that you don't deserve. And I want you to call out when shit is wrong. If you could do that, we halfway there. Love all of y'all. Oh, Nevi said, love you, my honey bonnie chocolate. <laughs> Listen, I love all of y'all. So I'm feeling a little exhausted. I'm a little bit tired. This was Manifest Mondays. And Wednesday, I have a beautiful, beautiful guest with me. She's probably in the chat. Let me see. Because, you know, I, I love my girl. Let me see if I see her. Yep, she here. Um, Y'all, we're going to have a special treat. I have Mele coming on Wednesday. I love this girl with my whole heart. Um, it's going to be an amazing episode. And when I tell you, 
we're really doing this journey together sis we are really doing it together so y'all that's monday if y'all didn't catch what was yesterday make sure you go watch that wednesday we have melee oh and please don't forget y'all tpn is doing a popcorn fundraiser um i think it's called like double good or something i'm gonna post it don't even worry about it um i'm just gonna tell y'all right now i'm from the bay there's a little bit of a competition so i need y'all to buy your popcorn from the bay area team I'm gonna post Yamana's link. I know I love the rest of y'all. I see the rest of y'all also selling, but I gotta I gotta ride for the home team because I'm loyal to the soil. So if you guys are gonna help us, we have a big goal. We're trying to raise, I think each team is trying to, to sell five thousand dollars worth, but the overall goal is to send fifty thousand dollars um back to Tigray. So perfect, double good popcorn. I'm telling y'all right now, if you fuck with your girl, use the Bay Area link. It goes live today. Oh, perfect. 5 p.m. EST. Um, so that's 2 p.m. PST. And I'm telling y'all right now, we are buying our popcorn for Yamane, from Yamane, because it is going to be a little competition, and Bay Area has got has to gotta win. I'm riding for my team. And just to throw in a little incentive, y'all know I got a top secret project coming out. Um, we just did a little bit of shooting this weekend. Got a little bit more shooting to do in Seattle. I'm telling y'all right now, if you guys buy your popcorn, if you guys support this thing, it's, it's going on this week, Tuesday, uh, today till Friday. Um, if you buy it from the Bay Area team and you use Yamana's link, I will give you an exclusive preview of the project. I'm just throwing that out there. I, you know, anyone who is part of it will tell y'all right now the shit was hot okay listen the project the project is dope i played it for some other people i showed them some stuff y'all they were like sis you about to go viral i know i'm about to go viral not a problem so i'm telling y'all right now tpn they have what is it called double damn guys i'm over here oh gosh double good popcorn i'm um, put the link up in my story make sure you're buying it from yamana's link the bay area link we got to do it for the home team um y'all could yeah cc said y'all could support other people too but you got to get it from yamana you got to get double from yamana because the bay area got to win this shit um and like i said i'm offering an exclusive preview before the before the release of the project um Look at CC's plugging, y'all. She said, for the Aussies and the Europeans, y'all can send it as a gift. Y'all, I had a hard week. If you want to send it as a gift to me, let me know. Because I could use some salty sweet, okay? The caramel with the salty, you know? Y'all know what I'm talking about? I could use some of that. So if you want to send it my way, please do. I could use all the extra popcorn. <laughs> all right, y'all. I'm going to quit playing with y'all. Again, Tagadu Rebuild Tigray. We got the double good going on. We're going to change the culture. We're going to rebuild Tigray. This is Manifest Mondays. I will see you guys on Wednesday for Black Woman Wednesdays. I love all of y'all. Have a good day, y'all.